Hey guys, and welcome to the November 2020 unboxing of the Keto Crate. Don't forget, you can get a discount on your very first Keto Crate by clicking on the link in the description box below. Also stick around to the end of this video and I will let you know how you can enter a giveaway to win your very own November Keto Crate. Enough of me talking, let's get to the unboxing. Bam. Oh my goodness, the one thing that I love about the Keto Crate is their awesome literature. Look at this illustration. It's of a little cat. It's of a little Keto Cat taking a nap with a nut bar. Come on now. Oh my God, that is so cute. Oh my God, and they have a recipe for Keto stuffing. Absolutely, Thanksgiving. I am totally here for that. On to the snacks. Okay, the first thing we have, oh my gosh, Curly Girls Candy Hemp Brittle. Now, I have had this stuff before. It is delicious. It tastes just like regular candy. I don't know what it does to your blood sugar, but I'd have to assume that it does it like regular candy. I mean, this stuff is so good. The ingredients, butter, hemp hearts, prebiotic fiber syrup, sweetener blend of tagatose, erythritol, allulose. Yeah, I mean, a lot, just, like brittle, when's the last time you had a brittle on keto? I'm very excited. Okay, there are two servings per container and I could honestly say that with such a rich dessert like this, you might actually be able to split this into two servings. However, I am very glad that they do have the nutritional information for both one serving and the whole package on here in case you're looking to just take it to the head. You know what I'm saying? But for one serving, there's 130 calories, 12 grams of fat, 10 total carbs, six fiber and one sugar alcohol. Oh, three tagatose. So is tagatose like allulose where you have to count it as a sugar? It looks like it. So maybe four or three or two net carbs. Oh, can't really tell. Either way, we'll just go with three net carbs and then two grams of protein. I am absolutely here for this. I love Curly Girls candy. Oh my gosh oh my gosh my mother and husband are going to be so angry with me because i am barely going to let them have any of this okay guys this is legendary foods strawberry toaster pastry this is just like a pop tart the only thing is the thing that bothers me the most about this is that only one comes in a pack and that they're so expensive but like if two of these came in a pack you couldn't tell me nothing but they'd also probably cost nine dollars and nobody would buy them right but I've had these before actually fairly recently and I absolutely love them because they're chewier than pop tarts are and I really appreciated that chew but I'm excited to see what my mother and husband think about them though because to be honest when I ate it the first time I did not share this at all with them so now I have to I guess serving size one pastry because that's all that comes in here 170 calories 13 grams of fat 21 total carbs I mean this is a lot you know eight fiber and five erythritol and four allulose. So what is that, four net carbs? Totally worth it. The ingredients are almond flour, there's a protein blend, erythritol, high oleic sunflower oil, soluble corn fiber. I mean, this is the Pop-Tart, you guys. Like, you can't really have too many goals for the, like, the nutritional value, but if you're just going for taste and keto, this is delicious. I cannot wait to try this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here we have Hungry Buddha. Hungry Buddha might be new to the scene. I don't know, but I've never heard of Hungry Buddha before. And now they got bars. They got chocolate chip. I am very excited about this chocolate chip keto bar. Serving size, one bar. Calories, 170, 11 grams of fat, 16 grams of protein, 16 total carbs, 11 fiber. So that's five net carbs and then nine grams of protein. Is there not any allulose in this? Is this really five net carbs? I don't know if I'm spending, okay, it says four net carbs. Okay. I don't know if I'm spending four net carbs on this. Did I just do the math wrong? No, it says five on here, so there must be some allulose somewhere. I don't know, but I'm interested to try it because I've never heard of this brand and I've never had this. And I love, love, love when the Keto Crate delivers me items that I've never heard of before. Okay, we have Super Coffee White Chocolate Peppermint. Oh my gosh. Now this is exciting. Like sweet and creamy. Oh, this is just going to be, what, a, a coffee 
peppermint drink. I am, I am very excited about this. I normally would not buy coffee like this pre-made coffee in the store, but I am so glad to receive it in the Kittle crate to see whether or not I like it. Like I am totally here for that. Serving size, one bottle, 70 calories, two and a half grams of fat, three total carb, one fiber. So that's two net carbs and 10 grams of protein. First ingredient, Colombian coffee. And then the next ingredient is milk protein isolate and an MCT oil. I mean, this is not too bad at all. I am very excited to try this white chocolate peppermint coffee. Hopefully it moves me toward the season, okay? The most wonderful time of the year. That's what I'm going for. Also, okay, this ratio keto bar, so interesting. I just saw Matt and Mega talk about this on their latest snack video. They said it looks like one of those Nature Valley bars and it really does. If you can see the picture here, it looks kind of crumbly and oaty, which I appreciate. This is a lemon almond. Don't know why we need this bar to be flavored like lemon. Almond would be just fine, but I'm very interested to try it. They said it was made by a large brand. Yeah, like General Mills. So this might be their first foray into keto specific products. Honestly, it sounds kind of broken, but that's okay. I'm here for it. That is okay. It says 17 total fat, two grams of net carbs, 12 grams of protein and one gram of sugar. Okay, I am at and 220 calories. Who needs to read the nutritional label when they have all the information right there? So two grams net carbs, that's not too bad. I'd be interested to try that. Don't know why it has an asterisk next to keto though when it says keto friendly. Okay, always consult your physician before starting an eating plan that involves the regular consumption of high fat food. Now if that ain't the most general meals you know, conglomerate disclaimer I done ever heard, but I, I'm sure that's what you gotta do. But I'm, I'm excited to try that. Oh, wow. This is a fat bar, uh, chocolatey bites. This new product alert, like we've had fat bars before, but this is definitely a lot thicker than the normal fat bar. It says chocolate bites. So there are definitely two separate things in here. Three grams of net carbs, keto, non-GMO. I am excited about this. I wonder what it's all about. Ingredients, chicory extract, pea protein isolate, just a whole bunch of stuff that looks like it'll raise your blood sugar, but it's a snack. Okay, let's look at the nutritional information. Serving size is one bite. I don't know why that would be the case. It should definitely be two bites, but for one bite, there are 100 calories, seven grams of fat, 12 total carbs, nine fiber, so that's three net carbs. So there are three net carbs per bite? That kind of changes things. Mm. Okay, and then 12 grams of protein. I have no idea what these look like. I'm excited to open this package. It says an almond and cocoa cream center wrapped in a deliciously indulgent dark chocolate coating. This has piqued my interest. Oh, yay! We have Keto Farms Zesty Ranch Nut and cheese mix. I loves me a nut and cheese mix. This is two net carbs per pouch. I wonder what kind of cheese this is. It says almonds and Monterey Jack cheese with pepper. Oh, so pepper Jack cheese. Oh, that's exciting. So for one container, there are 160 calories, 14 grams of fat, four total carbs and two fiber. So that's two net carbs. I'm always here for that and seven grams of protein. I love the folks over at Keto Farms and I am excited to try this. Something I am not excited to try is a Mission Meats beef and veggie strip. Ooh, I don't know why I need my beef strips to have veggies in them, but okay. Now I will say, I do like the fact that it is like a, a more of like a like a meat bar instead of a meat stick, but I don't know. It says made with organic vegetables and 100% grass-fed beef. No added nitrates or nitrites. It does not have the nutritional information on here. Oh, but if I'm looking at the ingredients, it says beef and then fajita vegetables, onions, green, red, and yellow bell peppers, and then sea salt and spices. Now, thems are my favorite vegetables, so I don't know. We might be onto something here, Mission Meats. I'd have to imagine that there are two to three grams of carbs per stick, but this is pretty hearty, and if it tastes good, that would be a welcome surprise. That's all I'm saying. Oh. We have intact snacks. Crunchy cheese Mediterranean mix. Oh my God, first of all, I don't even know what that is. Second of all, look at these little islands 
on the packaging. Boy, if that don't just make me miss Greece right there. I ain't never been to Greece and this makes me miss it. Like, oh my goodness. I'm excited. I don't know what Mediterranean mix means. I have no frame of reference for how this cheese should taste. Is it feta? I don't know. The nutritional information, there are two servings per container. Each serving is 80 calories, six grams of fat, less than one gram of total carb per serving. So probably one per container and then five grams of protein. The ingredients are mature semi-hard cheese, then like tomato powder, basil, or salt, oregano. So like, is this just gonna taste like mozzarella? I don't know. Okay, and then we have, ooh. People's Choice, Handmade Beef Jerky, Carne Seca, Limon Con Chili. Ooh, I'm loving all the vibes here. And let me see, oh, they have a little window at the bottom here, which I really like. Oh, it does look like beef jerky and not a meat stick. Okay, I'm not mad at it. Plus, I hope this is gonna have a little spice to it. It says, we have always done things a little differently. Some would say the hard way, we would say the right way. You're right. The, the carne seca line celebrates top quality ingredients and preparation by hand to create an all natural beef jerky like no other. Hmm. Now I will be interested in trying this. There are two and a half servings per container. Each serving is 100 calories, two and a half grams of fat, zero carbs, which is great, and 16 grams of protein. Mm, and the ingredients, beef, water, and then spices. Okay. Don't let me down, carne seca. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, and then we have some shrewd food Parmesan herb croutons. I've had these plenty of times before. They start off tasting good and then there's like a flavor cliff. It's like, oh, crunchy, 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 and then I don't taste anything, you know? But these are really good. I love them. I love the individual packaging. Per container, 60 calories, two grams of fat, two total carbs, and 10 grams of protein. So this is, yeah, this is a great crouton alternative for two total carbs. I am definitely here for it. And then finally, we have Field Trip Crispy Cuts Island Barbecue. I am very familiar with Field Trip. They donated a lot of bags of pork rinds for Keto Palooza. Thank you. Uh, so I have tried their Island Barbecue flavor before. It's really barbecue-y, and that I feel like has its own flavor as opposed to like a hot and spicy or you know like a chipotle or something right so I'm interested to try these I know these are my husband's favorite kind there are two servings per container 80 calories five grams of fat one gram of carb and seven grams of protein yeah I mean field trip crispy cuts these are classic I look forward to trying these and that's it Overall, I think that this Keto Crate has a lot of good things in it. Things that I'm excited to try. Can you believe I'm excited to try a meat stick? Like with them fajita vegetables though, you know what I'm saying? So, and then also these little snack bites. Like I am intrigued by a lot of stuff in this Keto Crate. And to me, that's best case scenario. You know, if it's not just flat out love and admiration for everything in here, like intrigue is my next most favorite emotion. Don't forget, you can win your very own Keto Crate by commenting on this video, letting me know what you would be most excited to try. Have you tried any of these items before? Have you ever heard of the Ratio Bar or that Buddha, Hungry Buddha Bar? Like, I am excited to try these. I've never heard of them before. Let me know what's your favorite down in the comment below. I'll be selecting one winner on our Smash the Crate video. But if you don't wanna wait, in the words of Paula Cole, I don't wanna wait. Like, if you don't wanna wait, just go ahead and use the link in the description box below to get your very own Keto Crate and you can get a discount. I'm telling you, these legendary food Pop-Tarts are worth it all in itself. I absolutely love these things. And white chocolate peppermint coffee. I bet you anything I'm not gonna be able to taste the white chocolate, but like peppermint though, I am really excited. Overall, I am really excited about this Keto Crate. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in our Smash the Crate video where we try every item in this Keto Crate. Bye! It says chocolate bites.